OK, uh, so let's also introduce the markdown syntax. So a uh, markdown syntax is a very simple syntax that used to control the format um, of your text that when you write a text in a notebook. OK, so when you write the text in a notebook, uh, you, you can follow, you can use the markdown syntax or when you write data on GitHub. OK, and you can also use a markdown syntax. So we just mentioned a few of those basic markdown syntax. And by using the right markdown syntax, you can make your notebook or your GitHub web page uh, more professional. And it, this is also similar to HTML code. OK, so if you know HTML code, that's actually both a syntax can uh, be converted into each other. OK, so in Markdown syntax, we can use uh, uh, the hashtag to indicate in front of the word or phrase to indicate the level of the headings. So one hashtag indicates the level one, two hashtag indicate the level two. OK, so we can use hashtag. Uh, we can also use um, a blank line to indicate a new paragraph. OK, so that a blank line to indicate, for example, if you write a line, you can just hit enter and you will go to a second line. So that indicate a different paragraph. Uh, you can use two stars or two end scores before and also after word to indicate a bold effect. So let's say uh, two end scores. And if you have some text, A, B, C, and also uh, and another two end scores or two stars. So those will have the bold effect. So the font will be bold. And also you can use italics by using one star or one uh, end score. So that will be italics. So A, B, C, if you use one star, okay, surround those text. And you can use this symbol, so great then symbol, to indicate that is a block code. OK, so uh, so this is a code. OK, so the output will look like a block code. Uh, you can also use numbers followed by the period to indicate an ordered list. Uh, so for example, So one point, so that is item one, two point period, that is item two. OK. And if you want an unordered list, you can use uh, dash, star, or plus in front of those lines. So let's see. This is item one. And star, that is item two. OK. Uh, so that is uh, create list, create and list. You can also insert URL. OK, uh, so the inserting URL is that so you use put your text. OK, in this uh, piece of the square bracket. Uh, so for example, you can see that is my website. And uh, followed by this parentheses, and within this parentheses, you have you have tell what is the URL that is really so that is h t t p colon slash slash, okay, and that is your URL. Okay, so that's a square bracket in the text visible text, uh, and after that in the parentheses, you have tell the URL. And finally, so if you want to insert an image. You need the, this escalation mark and also square bracket to, to indicate the alternative text of this image. So just in case the image is not available. And finally, followed by this premises. And within this premises, you have to tell the URL or the path of that image. OK, so as we said, the markdown syntax are supported in many places. So one is a notebook, so GP notebook. And one is a GitHub. OK, so GitHub. So we in this lab, we are try the markdown list on, go, on GitHub and but on notebook, sorry, on notebook. But for now, so for this lecture, so let's try those syntax on GitHub. 
Okay, so let's go to the GitHub uh, web page of this class. And you can see here we have those Python files. And the file that supports syntax is, it, it is this readme file. So let's go to your GitHub and remember that you logged in uh, with your GitHub account. And next, we can click this edit button. OK, so now you can see on this readme file, so our readme.md, so they are using this uh, markdown syntax. So let's try to do something here. So for example, the one hashtag indicates the level one headings. So if we type two hashtag, that is level two heading. OK. So, and also we can type some uh, paragraph. So, second paragraphs, okay, and the third paragraphs. And let's also try level three heading. All right, and let's commit that change. Okay, so now you can see that. Uh, the GitHub just render your your markdown syntax into this uh, web page. Okay, so that's uh, pretty cool. So that you can organize your uh, your markdowns, uh, your readme files, and also in GitHub in Jupyter Notebook, they they also follow the same syntax. Okay, so let's try something more. So let's try that the two star indicate the bold. Okay, and also one star indicate italic. Okay, and also greater than indicate a code. Okay, and let's see how that look like. So let's add some space. <clears throat> so now you can see the difference. Okay, so this is a, like a code paragraph. Uh, we can also add uh, the list. So if you want an ordered list, so that means if you want numbers with one point, that is item one, two point, item two, three point, item three. So that is an un that is an ordered list. And if you want unordered list, you can just use star item one star item item two and also star item three okay so let's see what what's the difference let's say commit and you can see for ordered list so they have those numbers and for unordered list so they just have those dot that in front of those list Okay, and uh, so finally, so let's try the URLs and also images. So for example, here I want to see that a URL. So let's see. Um, actually, so let's put our first lecture. So let's see lab one. So that is the URL. I'm going to copy that. And here in this square bracket, you have tells what other word that you want to display and also in, after that you should put the URL in that uh, parentheses. So now if you save the change and you can see this URL and if you click that URL you will be directed to the URL, URL that you provided here. Okay so lastly let's try an image. So let's go to GME website Okay, and let's copy an image. Uh, let's say we want to copy this this image. Let's just use this one. So we copy the image address. And now in our syntax, remember that the syntax is escalation mark, square bracket, so that is the GMU image. And after that, we put the URL of the image into this parentheses. And now if we commit the change, okay, you can see we just loaded this image here. And if you click, you, you will be able to see the 
the image. Okay, and and now the image is on on your uh, readme file. Okay, and so that's pretty nice. And the markdown syntax is very simple. And so you can try to design your own readme file. Remember that we want to put that as your repository um, to show a portfolio of your uh, of your Python skill. So you may want to design your readme file carefully because um, this readme file is your front page of your of this class uh, repository.